Ready? Head in. Good job. Show that to the camera. Says birthday boy. Good job. So you can see that Sonny initiates putting his head through versus me having to put it on him. That shows that he's ready to go and he's with me, ready for the game. And then we also have a little party hat and he doesn't mind wearing this at all and it makes everything a little cuter. So we'll show you Sit. what that looks like. Sonny. Good job. Look at this birthday boy. <laughs> things on their body is really important for a guide dog because they need to be comfortable being bumped and touched out in public because that happens a lot especially in New York City where they're always in tight spaces and around crowds and now <laughs> in his very cute attire we're going to show you how we introduce Sunny to working around distractions with one of my co-workers Allison and Allison's going to show what we call artificial distractions. So she's going to purposefully try and distract Sunny. And I will give him a lot of reinforcement for focusing on me. Reinforcement is just pieces of his kibble. It comes out of his daily ration, his lunch. So don't worry, he's going to stay nice and lean and healthy. And um, we'll show you what it looks like. So he's going to get a lot of kibble just for paying attention to me. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Yes, he's so handsome. Good. Puppy, puppy. You can see he's ignoring her. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Yes, and paying attention to me, which is the foundation to working puppy, in an puppy. environment like this park. Yes, so good. Puppy. puppy, puppy. And then maybe Allison could even reach her hand out. Puppy, puppy. Yes. Good job, I know. Puppy, puppy. Yes. Hi. Good. And so I'm rewarding him for making the right choice. Puppy, puppy. And if he makes a mistake, I just ignore it and give him another chance. She'll present it again. Yes, and you made the good choice puppy, there. Puppy. Good job. Yes, perfect. And then we can move on to the real distractions that are around this park. So we're going to get walking. Sunny, heel. Beautiful. Heel means get into my left side, facing the direction we want to go. So he's nice and in line with me without his hips being swung out. And this is really important for somebody who's blind because orientation means that they're going to travel in a nice, safe path. Sunny, walk. Yes. Good job. And you're going to see me giving him a lot of food because this is such a distracting environment. Some things that you might be missing is there's pigeons and people watching, fountain, kids playing in the fountain. Hold on, buddy. Good. Yes. We've got a stereo going. walking past all these people without trying to solicit attention, which is so important for a guide dog. They need to be focused on their handler. We're going to try and keep him out of the sun because it is a very hot day today. Sunny. Good boy. Uh-oh. We're losing your hat. Sunny, breathe. Yeah. Yay. Good job. And that is the start of his retrieval. And we'll show you a little bit more of that around the corner. Sunny. Sunny. <laughs> I'm trying to walk a little bit slower for the video and he's not used to that <laughs> speed. <laughs> he's like, why are we walking so eerily slow? Good boy. Thank you, Allison. All right, so um, a task that Sunny is learning in his early stages is how to retrieve dropped items. And this is not a standard task for a guide dog. A guide dog is taught just to guide a person safely from point A to point B, but um, at the Guide Dog Foundation, we have a sister organization called America's Vet Dogs, and between the two organizations, we have a niche in the industry, which means that we can provide full trained guide and service dogs. So now we have an added distraction of a skateboard, and he's already ready to do his retrieval. He's not even paying attention. Beautiful. All right, Sunny. So we start with the dumbbell because it's a really simple object. It's easy to grab because there's uh, a nice bar in the center, which stays up off the ground. We'll show you one more time. Sunny, bring. Good. Beautiful. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Set these down and move on to our next object. Once he has that uh, 
dumbbell down really well, we move on to more regular items that a person may drop. So this is just a little square wallet. Sunny, ring. Beautiful, right here, buddy. Yes. And you can see he's bringing it all the way to my hand. Good job. I know there's so much going on here, isn't there, buddy? And then the last thing that we're going to have him retrieve, we thought it would be fun on his six month birthday since his name is Sunny, to retrieve a flower. This is a very difficult object to retrieve because there is no space for his lower jaw to get around it. So he's really going to have to work at it. I know, those quick borders are looking fun, huh? obedience and manners out in public in order to make him the best guide dog possible and he's off to a wonderful start you can see how great he is for just six months old so we're gonna reward him with our very special happy birthday bone he's not gonna get the whole thing because we don't want him to get a tummy ache but he will get a good chunk of this bone we'll show you here <laughs> it says happy birthday on it so you're off to a great start mister you want a little piece of this Oh, yay. And we're going to give him some water too because it's a hot day. Good boy. Get in there, buddy. So the Guide Dog Foundation provides guide dogs and service dogs to people all across North America at no charge to the person who's blind or visually impaired. We do that through generous donations from people just like you that support our mission to help people live without boundaries. And Sunny is just one of many puppies with a purpose that we have that are all working towards improving the independence of somebody who really deserves their help. Here, yeah, you want this closer? Good boy. So if you'd like to learn more about the Guide Dog Foundation, you can go to guidedog.org or you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Guide Dog Foundation. Sunny is a very special puppy, and if you're in America, you can catch him on a morning television show called The Today Show. He's The Today Show's puppy with a purpose, and he even has his own Instagram account with The Today Show, which is at Today Puppy. And there's a ton of cute pictures, including one of him in a bow tie to celebrate today's big day. So check it out. Thanks for tuning in.